Hola amigos, this is Lorenzo from Broodminder here in the south of France, close to the Pyrenees. Today I want to show you how I'm using the Bees app to prepare my inspections to the apiary. I have about 10 hives over there, but I don't want to inspect each of them. I just want to target the ones that need my help. And for this, I am using the Bees app to assess which are those ones in an efficient way and decide what kind of hardware I want to bring to the apiary to do the kind of actions I've planned. So let's see how it works. And the first thing I'm doing is on the apiary tab to check the nectar flow index. This is giving me an overview of how was the last week uh, and how will be the next week. Yesterday was a, not a very good day at all. It was rainy, it was windy. The bees didn't come out uh, at all. And today it starts to be a good day. Last week was great. You're seeing this uh, high nectar flow indexes. We are in full bloom of linden and chestnut right now. So they entered quite a good amount of nectar. And the week to come seems to be pretty good too. Huh? It's well fairly good nectar flow indexes, which means that they will keep working, that they will keep bringing nectar, which is good. We are doing an inspection with this perspective. There's no dearth at the horizon. We are just taking care that they can do this work next week. So now we move to the hive stop and I am checking, quickly checking my hives. Number two is okay. Number three has this orange heart. Some, something is wrong here. The other ones are green, 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 green. RB also has something to check and the other ones are fine. So let's go back to number three. Uh, we check number three, productivity, no productivity at all when you compare with number two. And when you compare it with number four, you see that something is wrong with number three, right? Um, if I'm checking the brood, I see it's about yeah, 20, 30, 35% brood. And again, comparing with number four, which is about the 60, 70, and this one 77. Uh, yeah, there's something strange with this hive. So we need to inspect it. I don't know exactly what it is. When I look into my notes, I see that uh, super number one was 80% full. So from the top, it was looking fine, but it's not. We will check that one. Uh, now we will move to RB. So RB is a, a difficult case. <clears throat> if we look to the track it had, uh, this was a swarm. They had a problem with the queen. I inserted a new queen. Uh, they let the new queen uh, lay some eggs. And when those eggs were laid, they killed that queen. And two weeks ago, when I made the inspection, I counted seven uh, queen cells right? Seven. And last week, when I checked again, no more queen cells there. They had been all removed and I was supposing that the mating was in progress, but I couldn't see the queen. Uh, right now, when I'm looking at the brood, I'm seeing that it's going up, which means that certainly it's being mated and it's laying eggs. So this is what we will go to check with this one. Does it have eggs? Or, uh, or not uh, with number B. And then I know about RD. RD is also a nuke. So RB and RD are two nukes of six frames. RD is a nuke and is having brood going up. And I'm seeing that it has got huge productivity over the last days. Uh, on my last inspection, I noted that they were very good activities, still building on two out of the six frames. So they were building the last two frames. I think that seeing this productivity here, the two frames are already built and they had been filled, possibly. And maybe this hive needs, this hive needs to be moved into a bigger box, a 10 frame box. So we will go to the inspection with the 10 frame box, right? So that's what I want to do on this apiary. Check R3 
uh, control RB. If there's a queen, we will mark it. So I will bring the, the marking tool with me and move RD into a 10 frame box. That's the plan. We'll see how it is in, in real life in the IPRI. So let's go to the IPRI. Okay, here's the IPRI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. They are really busy right now because they are under strong linden nectar flow. The linden is over there, this big tree. So they are busy bringing nectar. I don't know if you can see it. Really, really busy. So that's cool. So number three is the green one. We should check it, but we will check it the latest one because we don't know exactly what we find. And for some reason, I like to look at the end. This is hive B, RB. It's a nuke, six frames. So if you remember well, normally in requeening process. So let's check this. So checking hive RB. Let's see what's happening here. Normally we want to see the queen and we want to mark it and we want to check that she's laying X already. Not very strong high so far. Okay. Oh, there's even, I have brood here, even capped. So here's the brood, and here part of it too, you seeing it? Where's the queen? Frame of brood. Where is the queen? I'm not seeing her here. Ah, oh, here is the queen. Okay. Miss Queen, <clears throat> we want to pick you. Okay, now put this here, queen is here, we have fluid. I'll check the other frame in the meanwhile. If there's fluid on the other one too, let's put the queen here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some root here too. Okay, starting up again. Some drones, but not many. Good nectar. This frame is a bit old, to change it. Okay. Now, let's mark the queen. Uh, they are 
are getting stressed, which is normal. Okay. Here she goes. Going down carefully. Come on. Up. Up. Great. That's done. Objective number one is fulfilled. Objective number one is fulfilled. Now we need to go to objective number two. It was RD, do you remember? This one. RD is uh, a nuke, but it has been catching a lot of nectar. All the frames should be built already and filled up maybe. And that's why we brought another hive to replace. So, I'm moving the hive aside, let's say. Wow, it's heavy. Oh, very heavy. I'm putting this one here. Oh, I forgot to put a bit of smoke. Those are the heating frames. And those are new cones. One and two, and two heating frames. I will remove heating frames. I will take a bit of smoke from this one. Okay. And let's bring it a bit more here. Feeder. Let's leave it like this. Yeah, this is all built. They have even built on the side. So that it was time to take them out. Look at this. Here, you come. So let's take them into this new box. Yeah, this hive is not allowing for seven frames, but it has too much space for six frames. That's why they are building on the side. Nice comb. This. Super quiet. That's a nice comb too. Yes. Like 
nice. Okay, still two frames left. They are doing pretty well. They are quiet, which is good. Okay. Now we put this one here. Okay. And what I will do is to leave one frame to build on one side and one frame to build on the other side and one hitting frame on this side and one hitting frame on that side and I'll center all of this that's it good Zombies left inside here. They were building on the sides already. So it was time to move them. I'll leave the box here for a while. Zombies here. Okay, that's good. Okay, we have a bigger apartment now. Much bigger. Feeder. Careful. And top cover. And insulator and roof. And that's it. Objective number two is achieved which is great so they have their new place bigger fame look at the look at the linden it's absolutely great this tree producing so many flowers so much nectar so so now remember objective number three of today's inspection was to visit R3, which had some troubles. We are seeing that it's not producing and it has low brood, maybe no brood at all. So this is what we are going to check right now. Moving to R3. They are really, really, really busy. This is number nine, seven, six, four, and three. Number three is busy like we couldn't say it's different than the others right just by looking on the on the bottom board we couldn't say but the sensor is telling us that something is happening let's put on the rear this is number three okay let me place the camera in such a way it works better okay Up. smoking Little stone. I'm looking at the bottom board. There are some bees. Oh, one or two mites. Not many. So that's open. I made an oxalic treatment few days ago, so I inverted the feeder and the top cover. 
that's why they are on the other way. Okay. That's the super. It's filled up. So again, when you look at this, you say, nothing happening here. Everything is fine. They are producing honey. And you wouldn't inspect them. Let me show you one of those frames. up with nectar it's nice some part is capped and the other part is not I don't know if you see it on this side it's even better so this is okay they are bringing resources to the colony and this is fine they are not starving But internal sensor tell the, told us that something is happening. So I don't know if it's true or not. It's not working all the time, but we should check and we are checking right now. Okay. It's a bit heavy. Let me make some place here. Queen Excluder is coming with the super. The internal sensor is there. So what's going on here? This comb is partially built and it's empty. That comb is filled up with nectar and pollen. Not completely, but so some part of it. Okay, let's put it here again. Mr. Drone, how are you going? Nectar and pollen, many empty cells. Nectar and pollen, no brood so far. Frame number four. Nectar and pollen, are you seeing it? Lots of pollen, right? Too much pollen for too less brood. And here is an old frame. I should throw it out. Just nectar and pollen. Again. Oh, two. Queen cells, small ones, not a big deal. Okay, no brood so far.
that's what was warning me and that's what the sensor was telling us lots of pollen Okay, there's just three frames left. It would be strange if we have find brood in those ones. No brood, nothing, nothing. So that's the problem. Quite a good amount of bees, lots of stores. This one is empty or well, partially. So the sensor was saying R3 had a problem and R3, R3 has a problem, no queen. So the bees are bringing nectar, are bringing pollen, but there's no queen. We need to change it. Um, I think I will take one frame for one of the other hives with brood and insert it here so that they can requin. Otherwise, we are mid end, June, end of June and it will be tricky. So I will go for another frame. I saw in the app, number nine is strong. Number six is not. Four, five, maybe one of those. Yeah, two and three were fine, right? You remember? Two and three were doing well. So maybe it's where we will take uh, frame of root. We need eggs. Less than three days. Uh, okay, so let me do this job and I'm coming back when I have the frame in hand because I need to open one of those. <laughs> and now we take a frame of root of eggs, which is here. And we put to that one. Hop. No smoke. No nothing. Just do it quickly. Enough. Okay. That's it. And now super. Oh, the queen exterior is there. Okay. Feeder. The feeder is good because it's also adding an extra insulation to the hive. And it's, I, I keep them all year long. Because it insulates on summer and on winter. Okay, the summary of the inspection. Uh, it's gone all as planned, more or less. We checked out there was a new queen and it was laying in RB. We marked her. We checked that RD was filled up and we had uh, 
planned for uh, translation into a 10 frames, which we have been doing. And we opened R3 and indeed there was a problem, a queen problem, no queen, no eggs, no brood at all. So we have inserted a new frame with eggs from another hive. I like when the plans go right. Remember, every hive counts. <laughs>